people wanted me to do another video or wanted me to do a video on how has God has worked in my life. Um, really, you know, I've been searching God since I was a 12 year old kid. Um, you know, I'd ride my compas Smurf to, you know, to church on my handlebars, you know, because so I wanted God to help me. And so, you know, in boxing, you know, and in my life, you know what I mean? But more in boxing because to me, that's how, that's how my relationship with God began. So, you know, I would, um, you know, when I, when I saw amateur boxing on US, uh, on, a, on a Jones Inner Cable in, in Oxnard, I saw Ringside Boxing Challenge at the Alex Club. I said, what in the hell was this? Boy, I was 12 years old at the time. And, um, you know, um, I said I could do this. And, you know, I was a... I was a street fighter. Kids, people knew me that I could fight, and um, you know, battles that were, you know bigger than me would, would try to punk me, and 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 it wouldn't happen. I would, you know, uh, I'll fight them, and and I'll end up, you know, getting whooped. But I wouldn't stop fighting. So each time we saw each other, you know, we would end up, you know, fighting again. So that's the way I was as a kid. You know, what I mean, I always had that. You know, my dad told me how to had a street fight, you know what I mean? So that, 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 that to me was how I learned how to fight in the streets. But, you know, when I, when I found boxing, my life changed, you know, because I, I was a knucklehead, you know, maybe I'm still a knucklehead, getting um, uh, locked up in, in juvenile hall for batteries and thefts. And, you know, you know, one day when, when, when I was suspended from school for fighting, I saw amateur boxing at Jones Indicator. I said, what in the world is this? I could do this. Well, you know, um, I started um, I started um, going to church because I wanted God to make me, you know, who I am today. And, you know, it only took me four years to break history. So uh, I started at 12. At 16, at 16, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I became the youngest national champion in boxing history. Because I didn't deviate, I didn't play when it came to boxing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play when it came to boxing. When it, when it came to this, this is my life, you know. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't do none of that. Um, so, you know, that's God. God. God made me who I am today. You know, um, um, I asked God to make me, you know, an, uh, an Olympian. He made me an Olympian. He made me a world champion, the youngest in the history to do so. But you know, with boxing comes a lot of wear and tear. You know, we're in the hurt business. So for many, 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 many years, while I was fighting and I, and I was still, and I still had my house in Big Bear, you know, I would go to camp over there. And so, <clears throat> you know, for years I would urinate a lot at night, a lot at night, a lot at night. And like, like I'm talking about, um, you know, six to eight pounds of urine. So how do I know this? Because I wasn't gonna be getting up every time. I wasn't gonna be getting up every time to 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 go to the bathroom, walk back, go out the bathroom, walk back. So I said, I'm just gonna get up and get, you know, run, run next to my bed and just pee in a bucket. And I would weigh the bucket and it would be like six to eight pounds of urine every night. So, you know, for years I was like that. For years I was like that. You know, and I went to the doctors, and they couldn't find they couldn't find what was wrong with me. They thought that at first it was, you know, that I had um, calcified my my pituitary gland because of boxing. Because you know, you you know, you take punches as a fighter, and you know it happens. You know, so um, you know your your pituitary gland is is calcified. If it's calcified, then that means that you can no longer you know concentrate your urine at night. And so that's what happened to me, but it wasn't that because I went to the doctors and they said that I was fine. My pituitary gland was fine and they said my kidneys and my kidneys were fine. And one day, this is going to show you how good that's, that's why God's my healer, my, my provider, he's my everything. Um, so one day, you know, I was in church and, and, um, and, um, you know, here in Vegas and, know. Uh, a church I used to go to, um, and um, you know, I went up and they go, you know, the, the the pastor at the time said, you know, um, if anybody's sick, come up and God's gonna heal you. 
So I go up and um, I go up and, uh, and, 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 and the pastor prays for me. And, you know, for years I've heard people, you know, go up and get healed. And I didn't want to go up there because I don't know if God would, you know, everything I've done. Because I haven't been a perfect, I haven't been a perfect, you know, vato. I have not. And so, you know, I didn't know if God was going to, wouldn't want to heal me, you know what I mean? Because of everything I've done. And, you know, and I deserve that, you know, for not, for, for you know, being who, how I've been in my life. And that's what I felt. And so, you know, um, I went up there and uh, the pastor at the time prayed for me. Um, and, uh, you know, after I came home and, and Junior comes up to me and goes, Dad, can I ask you a question? I go, yeah, puppy, what? He goes, you, you're you sick? I go, you're sick? And I go, Do you, I know that he, he, he asked a question because, you know, he saw me go up and be prayed by the pastor. Um, and I go, do you see that bucket of urine um, that I, that I, that's by my bed every day? He goes, yeah. Well, you know, I pee like 15 times a night, more, 15 to 20 times a night, because I get up every 15, 20 minutes. So I don't, I don't sleep, you know, so, you know, and so, you know, he um, he said, "Wow, Dad. You know, I did, I did, I did see that. I do see that every day." I go, "Well, I want to see if God will heal me because I went to the doctors and now the doctors don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just urinating all the time, and you know, I try to not drink that much of fluids at in the afternoons, and and it still happens. And it's you know, ten to fifteen, no, um, six, six to eight to ten pounds of urine. It's just ridiculous." You know, and um, and um, he goes, yeah, Dad, I, I know that I've seen that. And then I go, all right, well, you know, I'm gonna see what happens, you know. And that night, <laughs> from not getting up, from, from 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 getting up, ten to fifteen times a year, I got up three. The next day, I got up two. And from this point since there's been years since this point from this point from that point to now I only get up one time now tell me how that's not God tell me how that's not my king of kings when all I went to the other doctors and they told me they didn't know what was wrong with me but I go to the ultimate doctor the ultimate doctor is Jesus what did he do he healed me I don't get up, but only one time, and it's the best. In the, you know, I would I would have to take this this uh, medication, Desmopression, and that would concentrate my urine that night. And so that would that would be like, but 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 I would concentrate my urine. And for boxing, you can't be retaining water. You can't really be retaining fluids because what happens? You, your weight goes up. So and the drinking didn't help that I used to drink. Right? That's another thing. That's another thing I've told you guys about um, my drinking, but you know I already told you guys that God took it away. What else could could, could, could you, do you guys need you, for you guys to understand that if you seek God with all your heart, you will find Him. The Bible says, "Seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness, and then, and then, and then everything will be added." And that's how. It happened to me, and just like I searched God, I said, God, I, I want to be big in this world. I want to be like my idol, El Gran Campeón Mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. That the people love him, the Mexican people love him, and they go crazy for him. I want to be just like him. I know I can never be like him because he's, he's the best. But I know that if you can make me just a little bit like him, my God, me un cachito como el Diosito lindo. And when I can walk places and things are fanatical, things are crazy, people do, do you get tired of it? Never. That blow a kiss to God. Because that's answer prayer. So that's one of the things. There's been many things. There's, there's been other stories I could tell you about. But this is just the one right now that, you know, that I wanted to share. 
that, you know, people can really see that God does work. God does, you know, will work in your life if you seek him with all your heart. You know, like I said, I've seen I see God since I was talking about okay, to make me who I am today and and you know like and, and and God did that. And it's sort of, you know, and I still go to church. Sometimes my you know, my family don't go to church and sometimes you know, whatever it is, and I gotta go and, and pray for them because I'm the head of my household. I'm the head of my family. I'm the head. I got to be I gotta lead by example. And it's not something that that it's it's tiresome for me because I love God and God loves me. And God's done everything in my life. And I'll never and I'll never put my chest like it was me, because it was always God. You know, and so you know, all the favor that I get is God. Uh everything that He's done in my life, I'm so grateful for. You know, so you know, that's something that I wanted to tell you guys on you know, and we're on our way to church right now in a little bit. And so we're gonna go praise the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. Why? Because it's him it is him that gives us the blessing i never like i never like oh yeah well you know it's me fernando and fernando vargas and you know i you know the you know the fans are just you know and just the favorites just amazing because it's me no it's not it's because of god so that's what you know i wanted to tell you guys i wanted to share that you know my daughter my, my wife's my, 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 I'm sorry, my, um, God has healed my, my daughter too, and there's just so many things that I can say, and that's why I'll never stop serving God, I'll never, am I perfect? No, don't think I'm, you know, you've those, I hope you never even make the mistake and think that I'm soft, that because you're going to come over to me because now I serve God, I've always served God, and, but, you know, and like I said, I, I, I was religious before, I didn't know nothing about the Bible like I do now, but now I, I serve God. You know, and, and I know more his word and, and, and I have a relationship with God. I was religious before. So don't make the mistake of you thinking that, well, since you're a man of God, you know, you're not going to, the Bible says, if they slap you once, you're going to give them the other cheek. Bato, I'm not there yet. I don't even know if I'll ever get there. So don't make the mistake. Bato's do not make the mistake of thinking I'm sorry because I serve God. Or that I'm going to let you walk over me or disrespect me because I'm not. The Bible says, the Bible says, treat people how you want to be treated. Look it up. So, I'm not going to disrespect you guys because I, I, I think every man and woman deserves the respect. But I'm not going to be disrespected either. So, you know, I wish you guys the best. Thank you so much for listening to to how God has worked in my life, the miracles that he's done, and he continues to do. It's really, you know, God's, God's my everything, you know. I, I'm on my knees before I go to sleep. I'm on my knees before I start my day. I talk to God like I talk to, like I'm talking to my best friend. So I'm talking about myself and, and I'm driving and I'm talking to God. And that's, that's my relationship with God because I know he hears me. And he answers, seek, and you shall find. I wish you guys all the best. God bless you guys on this beautiful Sunday.